Hello, my name is Jerry Cherry. My mission here is to help guitar players improve their playing and take the necessary steps to become successful. First, I want to say rest in peace, Eddie. I love you and you'll always be my biggest influence. First, I'll play the solo to beat it along with a backing track that I created. Then I'll break down the solo part by part. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button, hammer on the subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you. I've also provided a free download link to the backing track that I created. Just see the link at the top of this description. I played in an 80s cover band that loved to play this song. If I had three hours to rehearse the show, I'd spend one hour practicing the solo. In the 80s band, there were a handful of solos that were really difficult. The Beat It solo was no exception. My whole night would either be great or lousy, depending on whether or not I nailed that solo or not. That goes for any Van Halen song as well. Eddie's solos were the quintessential composition within a composition. When you played Van Halen songs, you really had to do your homework. Do you have any stories about playing Van Halen live? Did you bomb it? Did you nail it? I'd love to read about it in the comment section. So you got the first part of the solo. You're going to take the bar and go all the way down with it. You start in the lower position. So, you're starting with the bar down on the G string. You're gonna hit it. You tap the 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 second fret pretty quick. So it's like, and then I'm bending up on the whammy. So you can see it here. whole step from the A here to a B. So I'm bending up the bar. I mean you could kind of go and bend the A up but and he might have done it that way but I'm doing it with the bar I'm just pulling it up. So you gotta and then I'm sliding up to the to the seventh fret on the G string to the D note. Then I'm sliding up to the to the ninth fret, the E note, and I'm doing a pinch harmonic. As you can see right here, I'm kind of picking and I'm pinching with my thumb in the same position, but I'm just moving up on my left hand from the uh, seventh fret to the ninth fret. Okay. So in the next riff, you're gonna jump immediately to, to the, you're gonna tap on the, on the E string, on the G note. So it's three times on the E string. You have a it's kind of like five five hits. Two, th one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Then I hit the B on the twelfth fret. So you got in the beginning. You're going to attack the G first, pulling off to the 10th fret on the D string, and you're hammering on the 14th fret F sharp note, and then you're going, three times, and the same thing on the B string. 
you got it from the beginning. And the next riff, you're gonna come up to the end, um, to the B string. You're gonna hit the B on the 12th fret. Okay, so you have a nice little stretch here, as you can see. You're gonna hit the 12th fret, the 15th fret, and the 19th fret, and then jump up to the E string, do the same thing, only gonna hit the 19th, and 15th, and 12th, like that. You're going up, then you're going down on the E string. So you have the B, then you're gonna, two times, pull off on the 14th fret to the 12th fret. So from the beginning you have, then you're gonna go, right after that you're gonna go, two times. And then bend into the, from the 14th fret, up a whole step. So from the beginning you have So we have this tread again. As soon as you release the note, to release the bend, you're gonna do a little slide with your finger on your right hand, on the B string. So you have. The next part you have. Release, you pull off on the G string. So, one more time from the beginning. You need a pinch harmonic this too. Kind of hard to get that sometimes. Okay, so the whole riff from the beginning goes. Okay, then you're going to go down to the, on the B string, on the 5th fret and the 3rd fret, you're just going to hammer on and pull off on the E string, I mean on the, on the E note, on the B string, I'm going to swell into it with the tremolo bar. I'm going to pinch harmonic this, the fourth fret on the G string. Just got to find the right spot. One time, really. Okay. Then you're gonna go up to the to the um, fifth, twelfth fret. You're gonna slide into the B, bend up the fifteenth fret B string, D note to the E. Then bend up the fifteenth to the seventeenth fret. Whole step bend from G to A. And 
And this bend is kind of a, a wide whole step bend on the uh, 14th fret. So it's a G up to an A. No, the A to a B here. While you're bending there, I'm going to position my, my, my right hand getting ready to do a tap. And the tap is here. The first one, well, the whole riff is. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is, you're going to tap on the 14th fret, pull off onto the 8th fret, tap on the C note on the 13th fret, the B string, and then you're going to switch to the E string. You're going to tap on the 15th fret, pull off to the 8th fret, hammer on the 12th fret. And you're just going back and forth on the E string and the B string. So the first one, the only difference is, is that the pinky is on the 13th fret on the first note. So it's... And the rest of them are... are um, 12, 8... No, 15, 12... 15, 8, 12. 15, 8, 12. The first one is 15, 8, 13. But it's only do, it only does it once. And then switch it. And then hammer on the, the 17th fret. And you're pulling off to the 10th fret. Actually, just twice. So the whole riff is... One more time. And you do a... Gonna slide up here. I'm not sure exactly if he does it this way, but it's, there's a slide that goes up to the E, and you're hitting the E here on 12th fret, and the D on the B string. And you're just kind of making, bending it up to the E. sliding out of it. So you have, here's the whole riff. And that's the whole solo. I post a new guitar video every Wednesday, so please tune in. I have some really cool new videos coming up that will definitely help take your playing to the next level. Is there a guitar solo that you would like me to break down? Let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to download the free backing track that I created for this solo. The link is at the top of this description. Once again, if you found this video helpful, please tap the like button, hammer on the subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications. I will see you in the next video. And remember, be cool, be kind, and be cherry. Rest in peace, Eddie.